33 shots, 30 wow. on target for Bayer Leverkusen to just the one for West Ham. Oh you look at the goodness. passes completed, the expected goals at Bayer Leverkusen, making it 42 matches unbeaten all season in every single competition. Nadam, you were watching this one. What did you make of it all? Yeah, well, I think uh, there was a chance for Kudus in the first half on a break when Mikel Antonio burst on the left-hand side, really jet past her, and I thought, you know, maybe this could be a tough game for Leverkusen because they were they'll going up against a very solid uh, West Ham side defensively, kind of parking the bus, but they had a few extra gears to go and try and hit them on the break as well. But as the game progressed, I think they just got deeper and deeper. Some of those out balls, they stopped being there. And I think as well, looking into the second leg, Pakistan getting a yellow card be suspended for that second leg is huge and they were doing so well but well i say so well for a neutral you wouldn't have enjoyed watching how they played you got a chance to see how Lever leverkusen attack i think for west ham they were committing the bodies back they were making challenges you know they were hoping that somebody could carry the ball at the field and it was just one of those days where they were holding on i thought maybe then going into the second leg in london they could have a chance but then get then goals in the first goal and then the killer second goal. I think that's the one that's going to be just a bridge too far because for the style of play that they have, with the players they have in transition, they have a chance. But I think Leverkusen, for the way they dominate the ball, you know, if they can create 33 shots today, there's nothing saying that they can't do similar next week. So unfortunately, I think this uh, percentage is going to be far lower than the one I gave for Liverpool. How impressed were you with Leverkusen, Nadem? Yeah, do you know what? I was impressed. I'll be honest, I've not watched tons of them this season. And I think I like the way that the, the wing backs were playing. I like the I like Verse as well. I think seeing Shit come off and seeing Boniface, a fellow Nigerian, come on there and score his first mm -hmm. goal back, that was good. You could see that they were confident, they were moving the ball well. But West Ham, they did cause them one or two problems in terms of how they were defending because they were very, very narrow. So some of the freedom that maybe some of those players needed, it wasn't there. And they were very good at committing bodies to try and block those shots. But you can see they're a side that are just supremely confident. They sort of carry themselves in a way where you can tell that have not lost in a long time. And yes, they had one or two scares as such, but you know they're they're one of the class sides in Europe this season, so you could definitely see it. And yeah, I think two 0 was the, the very least that would probably feel they deserve from this game. And of course, this weekend they can wrap up the Bundesliga title. It has been an incredible run, Gab, for Xabi Alonso. This season in particular, with those 42 games unbeaten in every single competition, how insane is this? So just for some historical uh, context, if they uh, avoid defeat this weekend, they will, they will reach 43, obviously, which, is, which would match uh, the record among, uh, in, in a big five European league. This is post-war, so after European football, because... I think back in the 1910s, I think at one point Celtic went like 150 games or 112 games on beat, something crazy like that. But but basically, since European competition, um, the record is currently, I believe, 48 games. Uh, and that's that was set by uh, Benfica in the early 60s. So, um, I mean, they could break that record this season. It's not it's not entirely unreasonable if they get past. Uh, you know, they win this weekend, get past West Ham. They'll have the, the, the German Cup final, of course, against um, Kaiserslautern, I believe. Um, yep. And then a couple more games, semifinals. That's where it could happen. Yeah, been a brilliant season. It could be about to get even better this weekend for Leverkusen, who, as mentioned, can wrap that title up. You can catch all of our Bundesliga action this weekend on Saturday. They could already seal it if Bayern Munich lose their game to Köln and if Stuttgart lose their game to Eintracht Frankfurt. But on Sunday, all they have got to do is win. They just need two points from the remaining six games or just match what's happened with the other two teams behind them. It is a big weekend in the Bundesliga, a historic one too.